What's going on guys? Here with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to some more grinding for Pokemon Leaf Green, the egg lock run. Today I got about 56 minutes of grinding for you guys that will be sped up, of course, because that would be a very long time to talk. And um, I have some user submitted stories from you guys. So in part 5, I asked you guys to submit some of your awkward or weird stories to me to read. I said, of course, they'd be all anonymous. And I was, I completely forgot about this in the morning when I woke up and I had like 40 messages in my inbox, which blew my mind because normally I get like five messages a week so um and i'm like reading through them and there wasn't a i didn't use every story and i'm not going to use every story obviously we're only going to be doing like two or three stories today but um there was some pretty i think there was some pretty good stories in there i just tried to pick the very best ones that i could see and um i haven't read all of them yet so ju just because you don't hear yours doesn't mean that it may not be used in the future because i will be probably doing this for future grinding videos as well so let's get to our first story all right when I was 13, I believe, I went up to Scotland for the first time. Now here in the UK, which includes Scotland, side note, it's surprising on how many people didn't realize I was being sarcastic when I said the UK wasn't a part of Scotland. Thank you. Scottish people have a huge reputation for being generally drunk, angry bastards. I didn't believe this, as I had a friend who was Scottish, and she was the cutest, most shy and innocent kawaii ginger girl you could ever meet. So I went up to Scotland hoping for more cuter ginger girls, typical teenager, and nothing else first day there and we went to this incredibly boring museum tour. Fuck knows what the museum was about. Anyway, the bed and breakfast I was staying at with my mom had free milkshakes. So the greedy kid I was, I downed about five, of the cup, five cups of the stuff and by the time the tour started I was absolutely bursting. The tour guide seemed nice enough so I walked up to her and asked where the toilets were. She exclaimed at the top of her voice, No toilet breaks! Else you'll get lost and missed out on the vital information! To the rest of the tour group, embarrassing me quite a bit. What a bitch. So I endured this hour long tour bursting for the toilet and she guided us out to the gift shop and out of the museum before I even had a chance to run to the toilet. So I left the museum and back on the tour coach, still needing to go. Next stop was a trip around Inverse, a city near Scotland. Finally my mom and I were free of that witch and I proceeded to try and find some public toilets. Couldn't find one anywhere so I walked up to what I thought was a policeman and asked where the toilet was. Well, the most insulted face I'd ever seen, he yelled, Are you bloody kidding, lad? This entire country is a shithole. Might as well piss anywhere and make no difference to me. At which point, I pretty much did wet myself in absolute horror. I guess you could say that book it reinforced the angry drunk Scottishman's stereotype that'll live with me for the rest of my life. That explains a lot about Hoodlum Scrafty, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so our next story for today is... Here's an awkward story. I live in Ireland, in a small town. Me and my friend were at his house playing on his Wii or Xbox, probably, when I got a call from my mother to come get something from... which, for the life of me, I can't remember. She was in her friend's house up the road a bit. I knew where this house was, so me and my friends walked up to it. Along the way, we thought it would be funny if I walked to the door pretending to be Mario. Mini Mario, to be exact. So I knocked the door, while on my knees, until someone answered the door. Someone walked and walked out and looked at me confused. I then said, It's -a me, Mario! Is a tractor? My mother's name. Here? There must have been a party or something there because about ten people came from the rooms and stared at me. The woman then asked, You're looking for a tractor? Hearing her voice made her realize she was Polish because at the time lots of Polish people had immigrated to Ireland. It was then I realized everyone in the house was... In, in, let's try that sentence again. I had then... Wait, wait, okay, I lost my place. My apologies. It was then I realized everyone in the house was Polish. I had gone to the wrong house. I then had to try to explain to everyone that I was just a misunderstanding and I had gone to the wrong house, while my friend, being very helpful, sat there laughing at me. It was the most awkward moment of my life, mostly because they didn't understand most of what I was saying. Alright, so our third and final story for today is a bit of a longer one and a bit of a pretty fucked up one, so... Well, let's get started. Wow, okay, I wasn't sure if I was ever going to tell anybody this, but it's too late, but it's late and I'm sleep deprived, so I guess I'll just write it now and regret it in the morning. First off, just for some background, my mom died right when I was born. She was actually really, really hot, but this isn't about her. I guess that's, well, fucked up to say, but whatever. Yeah, maybe a little. I actually grew up with my dad's family because my dad had all sorts of emotional issues and he bailed before I was born. See, as you can see, my childhood was kind of messed up. Anyways, growing up, I growing up, I feel like there was always a lot of distance between me and my sister. 
When I was about 17 or 18, I first noticed that my sister was a hottie. Yeah, I think you guys know where this is going. <laughs> I don't want to go into too much details about it, but basically what happens is that I accidentally found a video that she made of herself. I knew she didn't make it for me, but I thought she was so fucking beautiful that I watched it twice. I probably would have watched it a hell of a lot more, except that, like, right around the time I found a video, all this crazy shit went down and I had to leave home. My dad's family, who I was staying with at the time, got in trouble with the law. I never talk about it. So I was totally lusting after my sister at this point. She was also having trouble from the law. She was actually in custody when I left home. My friend and I went to go pick her up when I saw her that day, after seeing the video, I have to be honest, I just wanted to... Uh, I'll let you guys imagine what this word is here. Her brain's out. Looking back on it now, it's pretty messed up, but I think she had feelings for me too. She actually kissed me right after we came to get her, and it wasn't a sisterly kiss, you know? I mean, it wasn't like ridiculously sexual or anything, but it definitely wasn't sisterly. After we left, we all went to crash with my sister's friend. On the trip there, my friend sort of implied that he wanted to get with my sister, and I got a little jealous. He's a good looking guy, and even though she may be my sister, I just felt like he was competition. Not much else happened between us for a while except maybe some sexy hugging. Oh god, I love me some sexy hugging, let me tell you man. I sit there all day dreaming about it. Pretty much everyone in my life at that point was wanted by the government, so we all moved around a lot. I'm not saying that I'm proud of it or anything, but it was actually an awesome time. My friend and my sister never hooked up. I don't think it, but... I don't think, but I thought there was some serious sexual tension going on between them. It was around that time that I got hurt really badly in an accident. It was fucked up. I almost died. But when I was in recovery, my sister came to see me. And out of the clear blue sky, she started giving this awesome, slow, passionate kiss on the lips. Sadly, uh, though I guess it's for the best, nothing ever came from it. We spent some time apart, and I started to get really religious, so I tried not to think of her that way. I was actually going well for a long time, like, I was totally over her. But I have to say, like a year or so after all that stuff went down, we were out sailing, not like a date or anything romantic like that, and she was wearing like the hottest bikini I'd ever seen, and it brought back all those old feelings. A little while later, she actually wound up with my friend from before, the sexual tension guy. I can't say I was surprised. But even after she was shacking up with my friend, there was one time we were at a party, my friend was inside and my sister and I were outside alone. It was really intimate moment. I think something might have happened, except that I killed the mood when I told her that Darth Vader was our father and I had to go face him. <laughs> that is the best ending to a story ever, by the way. Way to just completely ruin a moment. So <laughs> that's going to do it for today's story, guys. I have a question for you. Uh, in the comments of the, the last one where I told you guys a story, someone said I should tell the story of my first kiss. And it's actually, it might be a funny story. I don't know. I've never actually told it to anybody before. I like to think it was somewhat comical. Who knows? Would you guys like to hear that story next time along with some more of your guys' stories? Let me know. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like the video. How about maybe 100 likes for the grinding and the subscriber stories? Hope you guys enjoyed, and I picked some good ones. Until then, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo.